Hello guys, kembali lagi dengan saya Syam Rektors dalam game The Samaritan Paradox So, kita sudah jumpa di Tech Tech 2 Kita dapat dupa trade Kita ada Macam ada something lah berlaku Macam kematian Something lah Bukan, bukan suicide lah So, kita akan teruskan Let's play Hey, Jorgen. Yep. Who do you work for? I freelance, but I mostly write for Sub Rosa. And you? What do you do for a living? I'm a private detective. I see. I guess Jonathan's daughter hired you then. I should go. Bye. See you around. Dear Angar, it is now a month since Vithar departed, and we have to prepare for the worst. The prospect of never again seeing such a heroic young man grieves me, but we have to be realistic. Before too long, we shall have to start looking for a new hero to send out. This is outrageous. We're running out of able young men and women. Would you rather we became slaves to the Vindar? You know as well as I how direly we need that horn. Believe me, if I knew of other ways to withstand the wretched Vindar, I would choose them. He's right. We need the horn. Anything's preferable to succumbing to the Vindar. Within two weeks, we need a fitting young hero to traverse the sea for this noble cause. Peace with you, proud Angar. Don't you think old Mimir will be mad now that we're not attending his meeting? Bah, I know darn well what that meeting will result in. And I know I'm next in line. Are you sure? Maybe we could... Yeah, I am pretty sure. It was just luck when I managed to make Vithra go before me without losing my face. People will expect that I go next, and I don't blame them. Hey, Fenrir, look there! Where? What? In the water! Someone's swimming to the shore! Indeed. It's nobody from the village. Must be a spy from Vastenvin, then. Let us hide and see what she does. A spy? Are you sure? She looks pretty harmless. That is a typical Vindar spy for you, harmless looking. Let us be on the safe side at least. Come.
Greetings, my good sir. Greetings, stranger. Pray, what is this land called? I fear I am lost. Lost, you say? How very interesting. How so? Ouch! Always hit first and ask later. You can never be sure with the Vindar and their black magic. Better have this spy behind bars before interrogating her. Search her for weapons. Boy, Lorwyn! Fenrir, look at this! By the gods. The horn! The golden clarion horn! Excellent. I think I will go see Mimir after all. Take her to the old prison. I shall deal with her after I have spoken to Mimir. Nobody may talk to her, including you, until I come back. How will you explain the horn? You found it lying around? I will come up with something. I have to hurry. Take her to the old prison. I shall be there shortly and take care of everything. Okay. Ah, the spy is awake! What? Where am I? Oh, be quiet. I refuse to talk to spies. Who are you? Me? I am Wild, the Miller's son. What have you done to end up here? I'm accused of stealing gold from the temple. I'm innocent, of course, and should be released soon. But no more talking now, Vindar spy. I know how your talk can twist the minds of decent folk. Where am I? In the old prison tower outside of Angsmark, of course, where you belong. Angsmark, that does not ring a bell. This cannot be my home. Ha <laughs> I see how you try to confuse me. I'm too strong-willed to be affected by your mind games. I am not a spy. That is exactly what a Vindar spy would say. This is absurd. I have to talk to someone in charge. Good luck. Vindars are given speedy trials here, and they always end up in the gallows. By the gods, this is insanity. I have to get out. Nobody escapes an Angar prison. Who brought me here? My head aches. I do not know who caught you. Cert brought me here. I had been swimming for an hour, then I saw a coast. I made it to shore. There was a stone tower. Someone ambushed me, and cowardly so. Enough blathering, foreign scum! Fine, I shall leave you alone. That's my porridge! Hey, you. You never told me your name. I am Wild, the Miller's son, and I thought I told you to leave me alone. Fine. I am Freya, by the way. Do you not want to get out of here? Oh, I'm only here because of a misunderstanding. I will soon be let out. Are you really that afraid of my powers? I'm not afraid. Just taking certain precautions. You sound afraid. Do you think my voice has that kind of power? Not over me, maybe, but over normal folks. I'm too trained. Too cunning. It's true. I can use my voice to control you. No, no. I shall resist. You cannot get into my head. But I can, you feeble mortal. I can trick you into doing my bidding whenever I please. I can command you to give me your plate of porridge, for I am starving. Ha! Huh, nice try! See how I will eat the porridge and not offer you a single bite. See how I gobble down the precious food right in front of your eyes like a starving pig. I see. Very impressive. What the? What have you... <laughs> You!
enough? I f do you not? Oh, I'm Are you not a it's true. No, but I huh. see. I see. No, but I can. Huh. See, I see. No, but I can. Huh. I see. What the? <laughs> oh, Wild, what have we done with you? Get over here. Let me go. Hey, open the door at once, evil witch! Just you wait till Fenrir gets back. We'll show you how we deal with Vindars around here. That is getting a bit repetitive, frankly. So I escaped in the nick of time. Now, it seems only three people know about me. Two are in the cell, and the third is going away somewhere. I am probably not in immediate danger. Are you not a beautiful goat? <laughs> Sorry for intruding. Oh, do not worry. Can I help you? You look like you have gone through some rough times. I am Torgov, by the way. You could say that. I have no idea where I am to start with. Where you are? You are just outside the village of Angsmark, at the northern end of the Great Peninsula. This is my simple home, where I grow vegetables and fruits, which I sell in the village. Where do you come from, stranger? I... I do not know. The people I have met so far have accused me of being a Vindar, but I would not know. How peculiar. Although most foreigners are met with suspicion here, and not seldom accused of being Vindars, the villagers tend to be a bit narrow-minded and extremely wary of outsiders. I prefer not to live right amongst them. You can trust me, though. Even if you turned out to be a Vindar, I would treat you just like a fellow human being. I would just like to come home, wherever that is. Why do you not sit down and eat while you tell me what has happened to you? Oh yes, thank you. And after I had escaped my captors, I came straight here. I see. Now I think I can explain some things here. This part of the country is engaged in a cold war with another region, known as the Vastenvind. Inhabited by the Vindar, it is a rather petty feud that nobody remembers the origin of, but the mutual hatred is fiery. Our village elder, Mimir, is bent on defeating the Vindar, and has studied the scriptures to find ways. He's found a legend speaking of a golden horn, 
which should be blown at our holy shrine. Doing so will summon a mighty war spirit that will let us crush the Bendar once and for all. He tracked the horn to the island of the dragon. The dragon easily burns and sinks any warship approaching, but lets single adventurers ashore. So our village has regularly been sending out adventurers from the area to obtain the Golden Horn. Mimir has done his best to convince people that this quest is very heroic and necessary for our survival. The last person to be dispatched was my adopted son, Vithar. He was just 19, so Fenrir is a close companion to Mimir and a member of a noble house. He's managed to avoid being sent to the dragon so far, and now he has stolen the horn from you and pretended to have found it. As we speak, he is probably preparing the summoning ritual with Mimir. Please stop me if there is anything you wonder about at this point. Should I be worried about my safety? Well, both Wild and Sirt consider you a Vindar spy, and when they get out of the prison, they will start hunting you again. Sirt is Fenrir's henchman. He will do anything Fenrir tells him to. I didn't know that they were using the old prison as a secret base. They must be using a path on the other side of the hill. You need to dispose of Sirt before Fenrir comes back to let him out. Your survival depends on it. They plan to kill me, so I have no remorse about that. Good. Sirt has never done anything good for the village anyway. What will happen when Fenrir blows the horn? If the legends are true, a war spirit will help the wielder of the horn to defeat his enemies. I imagine the Cold War turning hot and bloody. Does this not worry you? Yes, but after losing Vithar, I do not care that much. With Mimir as a chief, our village was doomed either way. What if I am really a Vendar, then he will contribute to the destruction of my homeland. That is true. Either way, it will be terrible times for all of us. The Cold War was bad enough, but this will be something different altogether. Can Fenrir be stopped somehow? Well, I think they will blow the horn by tonight. So there is time to try to stop it. Maybe I will. If I can prevent a bloody war, I will do this. I have no other purpose in life right now, and finding my home will be easier without a war raging. Can you help me find my home? I do not know. I cannot tell where you are from, only that you are not from here. Do you think I could really be a Vendar, as I have been accused of? Few people here really know much about the Vendar. It is mostly myths and prejudices. They are rumored to be very cunning, and will trick you with words. If you are indeed that cunning and manipulative, then why not? However, with the impending war, crossing the borders to Vastenvind will be nigh on impossible. You should also ask yourself how you ended up at the Island of the Dragon. Maybe the Vindar were also sending out adventurers? Or you were just a seafarer, sailing the sea when a storm brought you to the island. Hard to say. However, we do not have any boats now, as Mimir has banned them. He has banned all boats? Yes. Maybe he is afraid people will leave this place if they can. Goodness. I have this ring. It might belong to Vithar. I found it in a boat that was moored at the island. If Vithar was the last adventurer to be sent there, it could be his. By the gods, it must be his ring. Ah, my heart. He wrote about this ring in his letter. You see, as he reached the neutral port of Averheim, he sent me a letter. By then, he was just days away from the island. In the letter, he wrote about a girl he met there. He was only there for two days, to stock up supplies and wait for the bad weather to pass. He and this girl exchanged rings, and they promised to meet again after he had visited the dragon. Of course, he never made it back. Her heart must be broken. That is so sad. You can hold on to that ring. If you ever stop by the port of Averheim, see if you can find the girl and return it to her. I think her name was Ithin. Let her know what happened to Vithar, so she does not think he simply forgot about her. Very well, I will. I cannot think of anything more right now. You can stay here for as long as you like. I will tell the villagers that you are my guest, and not a Vindar. Hopefully Sirt will rot away unnoticed in the old prison. Nobody goes near it these days. 